Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to customize the background and the color settings in SolidWorks as many people have been asking me about this. Especially how to make a surface glow when you select it. I will also teach you how to change the colors of the dimension lines and arrows in the drawing part of SolidWorks. Now first let's take a look on how to change the background. Go to Tools, go to Options, go to Colors. Now here in background appearance, choose image file and browse to the image file you want to use. For example, I want to use this 3D grid. Click open like so and click OK. Now you can see we changed the background. Now when I select this surface, you can see it only turns blue in, in the edges. If I want to make all the, the surface glow, we can do this by go to tools, options. And in general, you have to check use shaded face highlighting, like so, and click OK. Now you can see the whole surface is, is turning blue. If you want it to glow a little more, you have to enable real view graphics, with, which is supported by some video cards, but not all. And now you can see it glows a little more. If you want to change the color of the glow, go to Tools, Options, go to Colors. Now in Color Scheme Settings, Choose this selected face, shade it, click edit, and then we can choose, for example, a, a green color to glow, and click OK, and click OK. Now you can see it glows with a, a green color and a little blue in, in the edges. This is how we're doing this. Now I will show you how to, to change the colors of the dimension lines and arrows in the drawing part. Let's open a, a drawing, like so. Let's give this a dimension, like this. Now you can see the color of the dimension line and arrow is, is, is black. If we want to change this, go to Tools, go to Options, go to Colors, then scroll down here in Color Scheme Settings. Then we have this one called Dimensions Non Imported and Driven. Click Edit, then choose for example that dark blue, and click OK, and click OK, and now you can see we change the color of, of the black arrow to a, to a blue one. So that was all, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, goodbye.